I'm back with another video and I'm going to do a Primark haul for you. This was originally going to be Primark and a few other bits I got from H&M and stuff, but I probably will just put those into blog posts now because I'm having to like re-record this again and the video just became epically long and all of that stuff. So I'm just going to do the Primark haul because that was mainly what it was. And before I start, I really wish I didn't have to do this because it's so annoying for people that just want to watch the video. But I just want to put out a little disclaimer to just say that um, I know I go shopping a lot, I've been shopping a lot at the moment and I'm sorry for doing so many haul videos, although I know that's really what the majority of people do enjoy watching, but I'm a, I'm a young person, I work really hard, I earn every single penny myself um, and while I don't have a mortgage and things like that to pay, I'm going to spend my money on things I enjoy, my spare money anyway. So I really wish I didn't have to say this and I know most of you will say you shouldn't have to justify what you spend your money on so thank you if you're one of those people. But there are a few people out there that feel they have the right to say how can you spend so much money on clothes and etc etc. So I just want to put that out there to anyone that does think that or that doesn't want to watch this video please don't feel like you have to, honestly you don't have to. You can just click out of it and that's fine. So hopefully, now I've said that, everyone that's going to be like that has clicked out of the video and just left everyone that just wants to generally see what's in Primark at the moment and see what I like to wear, I guess. So after that little rant is over, um, I can get on with what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, hopefully I'm in focus and everything because, because of the new lens, this camera is really far away so I can see myself can see that I'm in the frame but not really very clearly. So anyway, I'm just going to start on what I got. I went to Primark earlier today. I did get rather a few bags but I feel like I justify it because they're quite cheap. You know, they're not like a f one £40 bag equals the bags I got today. So anyway, I'll show you what I got. First of all, I picked up this one which looks a little bit more, um, more expensive than a couple of the ones they did like this, um, I think it was last season. Um, this was actually £12. I really don't like this little tag thing because that cheapens it, I think, so that's going to come off. But it's got a long handle there as well as a short one, but it's still tied up at the moment. And it's just got gold hardware, undoes there, and then inside, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just got kind of a fleur de lis floral pattern. And I just really liked it. I thought it was quite smart looking. Um, and even though it's going into spring, summer, I still do like to wear black bags if I'm wearing an outfit which I feel needs a black bag with it really. So that's that. But then I went for lighter bags to suit the season that's coming up. So I picked up this bag which is much more of a boxy shape. It looks like this. I really love it. I think again it looks much more expensive than it was. It was actually £8. Um, so I think that's a real bargain. It's got a long strap on it again, but this one just kind of hangs to the side a bit, so I may take this off. I probably would prefer to kind of carry it like that. Um, and yeah, it's got lots of room in it because of the boxy shape, and I really, really, really like it. And that was, as I said, £8, so that's that. Next I got this one, which I think might be my favourite of the ones I got. Absolutely love it. It's a really cute little bag for if you don't need anything big. You've just got a few things like a phone and stuff like that to put in your bag. Um, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's got this kind of gold. Um, they're sort of like, I think they might be tigers, and they kind of just hold the little bar there, um, which I think is a really nice detail. And again, makes it look a little bit more expensive than a Primark bag ordinarily would. And I really like it. And it doesn't have a clasp, you just pull it out of there and it has two compartments like that and yeah it's really quite spacious actually for the size that it is and I really like it it's going to look great this spring summer and it was only £8 and finally for bags I got this mint one um, I'm loving mint at the moment I think you may see that when I show you the clothing that I got I think I went a bit mint obsessed today um, but it looks like this mint bag, um, it's got a little clasp on it which just twists around like that um, that's what the inside looks like, just matching mint colour um, so yeah it's got like a really nice interesting clasp and then again it's got a long handle on it which is tied up but it's got the kind of gold link 
chain on it. I'm not sure how much this one was because the tags come off it, but I think it was six pounds. So that's a real bargain. And again, with the pastel theme that will be back this summer, spring, summer, definitely. It's coming back now. This is going to look lovely. Also, you could kind of include it with the bags, I suppose. I got this little, um, I think it's like a little wash bag. If you saw my last video, which included Primark clothing and Primark haul, um, I got the big makeup bag of this and I love it. So I got this for my holiday for this year, um, so it would kind of match. And it's a little wash bag, I think. Looks like that. Um, but it's quite small, really. You couldn't really fit many of your toiletries in there. So I might use it to like store jewellery or maybe anything you don't want to spill or something like that. I don't really know yet, but I like the fact that it matches my big makeup one. So that's that, and it was only £3. So then on to clothing, I got this mint lace top. Um, it's a bit bigger than I would normally get, but I quite like these ones to be baggy. I just thought it would look really nice in the summer, obviously the mint colour again. I've got some really nice shorts from Zara, which I'm wearing now with this mint jumper, and I'm going to do um, maybe an outfit post on it or an outfit video. Um, so I just thought I'd pick this up, because when it gets too hot to wear the mint jumper with it, it will look really nice with a, a mint top, so I thought a lace one would be perfect. So it looks like that, and it was £8. I also picked up another mint top, like I said you will see a recurring mint theme through this video. Um, this one's a bit more blue though, it's really pretty, just a very basic top with scalloped, or scalloped, I always get that word wrong, scalloped edge at the bottom and on the sleeves, which I'm not sure about, I think they should just leave the sleeves plain because I think it can be a bit too much, but I might wear this tucked in so you can only see the arms or something, and it's really pretty, it's a really summery colour, um, it's got little white palm trees all over it, I don't know how well you can see that from here, I love it and they do this in loads of prints and patterns, the same top but in different patterns, and it was only £4, so I picked up one of those. I also got this top which isn't something I would normally go for, but um, the reason I picked it up, I'll show you it, looks like this. So it's kind of cream and blue with little blue uh, trees and birds and stuff on it. It's got elasticated waist and then it kind of flares out at the bottom. Um, and the reason I got this is because peplum style t-shirts, tops, skirts and dresses are going to be really in this spring summer. Um, so I thought this would kind of hint towards that trend because even though it's not going to stand out, if you put it on over... Um, anything really, a skirt, like a bodycon skirt or uh, jeans or trousers, it will just flare out a little bit and just look a little bit more girly and pretty. So that's why I decided to pick up that. I'll let you know how this goes and if I like it I'll do a little outfit video or something with it to style it. Um, and it was £6. So I probably shouldn't have done all of the mint things together but I'm going to show you the blazer that I got. This was the reason I went to Primark today, to find two blazers, and I only managed to get one of them. I saw these on Laura's blog for the first time. I'll, um, it's called Belle's Boutique. I'll link it below. It's a really, really good blog, so you should check it out. Um, yeah, I'll link that below. She had the mint and the pink blazers from Primark, and they look amazing. They're so nice. I saw the pink one today, but they didn't have my size or anywhere close to my size, so that was really sad. But I did manage to get the mint one. Obviously I'm not going to wear all these mint things together, but um, yeah, I love the colour. Sorry guys, I went to edit this video and I realised I deleted a whole chunk of it, which was really annoying. So I've had to come back up here and film all of the items that I didn't include into that first part. So in YouTube time it's been like a second, but in like real life time that was about two hours ago. So sorry if I look different or the background's a bit different or anything. Um, I've had my dinner in this time, so I have to rethink about what I was talking about before. So I know on the last video I got up talking about the mint blazer. I really, really love it. They're absolutely gorgeous. The, this was £15, which I think for a blazer is amazing, because a lot of high street shops are selling like pastel coloured blazers for a lot more than £15. They're very simple, they're lightweight, so they're great for spring and summer. They look amazing, they've got no buttons down the front. Yeah, I just, I really love it, I really love the fit and just the way it looks basically. So, I'm pleased I got to pick that up. Didn't manage to get the pink one, but I'll keep looking for it. So, that's that. But what I did get instead, because I really liked it and it really caught my eye, was this one. It's exactly the same in terms of the cut and style. 
but it's black and it has little tiny elephants on and I'll try and do a close up of it so you can see the little elephants. Um, I absolutely love it as well, I know I keep saying that but obviously I do love the things that I got. Yeah so it's exactly the same, no buttons again and the inside is this kind of like taupey brown colour so when you roll the sleeves up it looks like that. And yeah, apparently elephants are going to be really big for this season, so I thought this would be perfect. Because even though it's quite, when it's dark, so it's wintry colours, I think you can wear black any time, it's a classic colour, isn't it? So, just thought it would be nice to put over things when it's too cold to just wear short sleeve tops, because I'm getting really bored of wearing um, cardigans and like long knitted cardigans. They're boring me now, which I never thought I would say, but they, they really are kind of just boring me a bit, so trying to find something a bit different and something a bit lighter for the season. In keeping with the pastel theme, I got some lemon coloured tops. So the first one is this, which is so pretty. I saw this as soon as I walked in the shop and picked it up. It's got a really cute white crisp little collar on it. Um, not a Peter Pan collar, but it's still really pretty. And then on the front it has these little ruffles down the front, which I think just adds a bit of extra detail to it. And um, apart from that, it's very simple, no sleeves, so perfect for the summer, maybe with a pair of shorts or again, jeans, whatever you want to pair them with really, or tucked into some kind of trousers. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop trying to make me laugh, please. And it was £8. So then I ended up getting another lemon top, and it's this one, which I really like as well. Again, it's got a little white collar on it, um, with like really sharp points and it buttons down the front with a kind of white um, trim all the way down the front and it's really interesting because it's pleated now obviously we see a lot of printed and um, printed pleated skirts and things like that but this is really interesting because it's obviously a pleated blouse which I thought was really nice so paired with something simple on the bottom half I think this would look really really nice so it looks like that really floaty and it was £10. Okay, so next is a dress that I absolutely love. As soon as I saw it, I had to pick it up. It's so pretty. It's everything I love in a dress. It looks like this. So the top is made of a kind of chiffon blouse material. It has a little Peter Pan collar, which I love. And then the buttons are lovely. I'll try and do a close-up of them as well so you can see. Um, and they don't look tacky or cheap. They just look really pretty and vintage and they're just really cute. And then, I don't know how well you can see, but the top of the patterned part is kind of sweetheart neckline. And then it goes into the dress, which is just a beautiful print. It's got pink and orange and yellow flowers all over it. And the material's really nice. It doesn't feel cheap or anything. Um, and it's got an underskirt, so it gives it a little bit of a kick. And finally, it has a really, really pretty bright yellow belt, which works with the little yellow flowers in it like dotted around and it's a really nice belt as well it's not a cheap one that you sometimes get on um, you know some Primark dresses that come with the dress this is a really nice one um, and I haven't got any yellow belts so that's really good and it was £17 which for Primark is quite expensive but in terms of a really good dress that's really really good value for money one more time it looks like that and it's just really pretty so I'm really pleased with that and then finally, I think the last thing I've got to show you, unless I've missed anything that I included before, um, are these little shoes. Um, they're really pretty, they are crochet material, as you can see. They've got a little bow on the front, like little ballet pumps. And the inside of the sole is really pretty, like, but obviously you're not going to see that when you're wearing them, so it's a bit pointless really, but they're really nice nonetheless. And yeah, they're just really simple, but will look lovely in the summer and they were only £5, so that was a bit of a bargain. So I think that's everything. I'm really hoping it was and that I've included everything and that I managed to get this video up because for some reason it feels like this wasn't supposed to be filmed today. It's just taken a lot of effort to get this video up and running. Sorry guys, I just had to change the battery pack to film like the literally last 30 seconds of this video, which is really annoying. 
But um, that's everything I wanted to show you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if there was any snoring in the background <laughs> of this video. Hopefully it didn't affect it too much. And I'll be back with another video soon. If there's anything you'd like to see, please write in the comments below any requests. And I'll try and get around to doing them for you. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye. It's going to be 17 degrees on Friday, just to let you know. Is it? <laughs> Is that hot? Yeah. It's going to be 20 degrees. What was it today? 16. Oh, so not that much hotter than today, but today was still quite hot. So they think it's going to make them lose or win. Go and ask my mum. It's called a ritual. It's not. It is. It's not. It's called a... Um, like, say when I... Uh, before a game, I have to tie my shoelaces three times. Because otherwise I think we're not going to do well. Right. It's not called a ritual. What's it called then? I don't know. An obsession? No. Nope. Good luck charm? No. Nope. Because um, people say, have you got any... Superstition? That's it. N not really though. It will be a superstition for him though. Okay, you can call it a superstition, but it's more of a ritual. Superstition is like, don't walk in the cracks in the pavement. Who's? But if your bum is in my video, if your bum's in my video, I won't be happy. Okay. Night night. I'm just whilst you're doing this because I can't hear the telly. Oh, okay. Love you. I love you too. And plus, you're love listening to you talk because it makes me absolutely. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel great. Why? That me talking makes you go to sleep. Yeah, because you've got a lovely soft voice. Yeah, but you're not going to sleep with it. Yeah, I'm not going to sleep with it. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, because you've got a lovely soft voice. Happen, is it? No, I did say earlier. This video is not supposed to be made today. <sighs>